now welcome back students now let's start with the numerical numericals of all the topics that is i've done with numericals of nernst equation let us do numericals of kolderas law then we'll be doing numericals based on conductivity and then we'll finish off with faraday's laws now whenever we speak about kolderas law basically this type of examples or this type of questions are quite common let's read the question how to solve it let us go step by step here they've given us but first remember whenever you are doing kolderas law numericals go back to the concept first which is already there in the playlist after learning the concept and the formulas and units then come back to this concept the numerical otherwise you will not understand never try to by heart any formula first go how did i get the formula then come back to this it will be easy for you to solve done so when i have to solve this what do they give me they give me calculate molar conductivity at infinite dilution okay this is limiting molar conductivity infinite dilution which we have seen for acetic acid okay i have to find out molar conductivity for acetic acid then yes what else is given they have given us molar conductivity of hcl nacl ch3co na done so unit already given you can directly copy now simple so whenever you have to find of acetic acid just see they have already given what should you do there are three quantities in this then the first quantity this i require this quantity right why do i require this quantity because in this acetate ion is present in this acetic acid acetate ion is already present so pick that up ch3coh first picked out acetate ch3coona done now to this i have to add should i add this one or should i add this one well, how should i see now see here acetate ion is already over what else do i require i require h plus hcl is present where in this so you are going to add lambda hcl now there is this one also left should i subtract it add now observe the ch3coona is one part h plus is one part together these two make up acetic acid and the leftover is nacl so i have to remove the nacl from that that means i have to subtract nacl from this lambda not nacl simple so whichever is excess i means extra other than the required acid you are going to take out those that is nacl in this case subtract it and get substitute the values now acetate how much did they give me 91 plus hc how much did they give me 426 plus <coughs> And you see how much they give me? One twenty-six. So everything in Siemens, I don't have place. I'm writing the units here. Siemens centimeter square mole inverse. And when I add this, what do I get? Molar conductivity at infinite dilution for acetic acid, which is equal to three ninety-one s Siemens centimeter square mole inverse one. This is your answer. Simplest numerical, isn't it? So let us come back and further solve other numericals in Kolderas law.